How to set epoxy RP. I copied the demo login details and logged in with it. First basic setup. Add branch. A branch is sales slash inventory point. On the column label of branch name, key in the name you wish to name your branch example, HQ, New York. Under the column description, key in full address, as should appear on your invoice and other documents. Click add more button to add as many branches as required. Use the remove button to remove added form row if not needed. Hit the submit button to save. View branch. To view slash edit slash delete already saved data, check the box under the action column on the row you wish to make changes to. This activates the update and delete button. Click on the update button to update the row with new information and delete button to delete the data on the row entirely. Product category. Here we set up the different categories of the product we deal on. Fill in the category name as shown, under category code, input your preferred code, if none, leave empty by hitting the space bar. Same applies for the description. Submit when done. Saved entries can be edited or deleted. Check the action box on the line item and click the delete button to delete entry or update button to update entry. Add product name. Here we set up the full name of product we deal on as it should appear on the invoice. E.g. brand name, model, description. Choose the category it falls under. Input unit of measurement. Place mouse on the barcode and scan the product barcode if any. In this example, I did not use a barcode. View slash edit product. Here we edit and or delete entries added. View product list is a quick window to view all products. Can be downloaded by clicking the download button. GPL setup. Here we set up main general ledger accounts as it should reflect on the statement of financial position or balance sheet, trial balance. By default system has created inventory, fixed asset, accounts receivable, and payables. User should create others. Example, banks, cash, short term liabilities. Input the name under the class name, select normally and input a brief description. Ledger setup. Here we set up sub accounts to be under the main GL account already set up.
VAT setup. Here we set up VAT. Input the VAT percent example, 3% will be 0.03, the account to be credited in the branch slash sales point the VAT will be applied on. Supplier setup. Create supplier accounts. Input supplier details and submit. Upload logo. Select a logo size picture, preferably 200 pixel by 200 pixel. Upload and submit. User setup. Add user. Here we create individual users that should have access to the system. Fill the form with details of user. Under the user rights, system comes with some default users. Admin. Gives user access to every module. Branch accountant. Gives user branch access. CEO slash management. Modified for management, gives user access to all reports. Custom. Here we map the user to the user group created. Create custom user. Here we set up the different modules a user group should have. Example, we want to have a user group named account receivable whom should have access to customer module only. Input the user group name under the custom name, under menu item, check the modules this user group should have access to. Submit when done. Repeat to add other user groups. Customer account module. Add customer. Here we set up our customers. Fill the necessary details. Choose the branch customer will be attached to. Select the marketer if applicable, click the add button to quickly set up the marketer and submit when done. View customer is where we view slash edit saved customer entries. Log payment. Here we post customer payment. Click on deposit to credit customer account and or withdraw to debit customer's account. Fill the necessary information and submit. Statement slash receipt. Here we spool the individual account statement slash ledger of each customer. Pick a customer and or pick a date range and click the view button for system to generate the customer statement. Statement can be printed or saved by click the save slash print button or download it to Excel and other available formats by clicking the download button.
Debtors List. A report showing all debtors. Specify the customer and date range to view their individual debtors aging report. Branch Stock Menu Module. Add goods to branch. Here we add stock into the system. Input a preferred name to be given to the batch. Input other necessary details like cost and expiry date if any. Submit. System generates a stock invoice stock. When stock is added, it is needs to be approved to be made available for sales. Click the approve sales button to approve the added stock batch for sale or click OK to continue and approve later. Note then when approved, edit operation can number longer be done on this batch. It is advised that the receiving branch approves it after physically confirming it. View slash edit added goods. Here we have a report of all added stock per batch. Unapproved entries can still be modified or deleted by clicking the batch name or the delete button respectively. Click Approve to make available for sales. Set Slash View Selling Price. Here we set the default selling price for goods. Select the branch to set the selling price and click the go button. Input the respective selling prices per unit and submit. Stock slash price. A quick report window showing cost analysis of goods per batch. Set limit. Tell system the lowest unit a stock should be to trigger a notification to restock. Select the branch such limit should be applied to and click go, input the unit and submit. About to slash expired goods shows about to and or expired goods if any. View goods in branch generates the available stock in a branch. Pick the branch and click the go button. Generated stock balance report can be downloaded, saved or printed. Sales log. 
here we log sales slash create invoice, cancel sales. Log sale. Choose customer invoice should be raised for. System automatically populates the name on invoice, phone number and other info fields with information maintained upon registering the customer. On the invoice number box, input the invoice number if any, if none, system generates a unique invoice number upon submission. Items bought. Select product sold. Input the quantity on the number of units field, amount it sells for on amount sold. By default system computes the amount sold by the selling price if set up, user has the flexibility to manually input the selling price. Input the selling price per unit to compute the amount sold. Check that box, if that should be applied to the invoice been raised. On the amount paid slash account, input the amount customer paid. Upon submitting invoice, system debits the account selected and credits the customer account automatically. If number payment was made at the time of posting invoice, leave at zero. Hit submit button when done. System generates invoice. Credits the branch revenue account. Debits the customer's account. Credits branch purchases slash inventory account. Debits branch cost of sale account. Deducts inventory automatically. View slash update sales. Here you can edit the entries initially posted and submit or click the reverse button to reverse slash delete the line item on the invoice. Such edits may be due to returns or wrong posting. System will automatically do the necessary accounting entries for each action taken. Sales report. Here is an invoice by invoice sales report, showing payment status. Report can filter to show per branch and or within a date range. You can also click on the invoice number to generate the invoice doc. Reg slash view referral. This is where we fully set up all sales marketers as shown when creating a customer. Sales return logs all edited sales entry. View invoice. This is where we call up invoice document. Input the invoice number and click go. Invoice detail. Here we set up the notes to be attached to our invoice. E.g. thanks for your patronage, payment details etc.
set up bank quote. Here we set up organization accounts to show on the quote slash performa invoice. Raise quote. This is where we raise quote to a customer. Input the necessary details and submit. View quote. Here we view all entries. We can also edit, delete or post quote as sale. Goods transfer module. Stock can be moved from one branch to another. Branch dash branch carters to that. Select the branch to pick from and click go. Fill the details and submit. All added stock must be approved to be available for sales. Go to branch stock menu then view slash edit added stock to approve such entries. Stock adjustment is a journal that handles stock adjustment. Stock can be added and or removed. Select the required details and click go as shown on this video. Transfer Inventory is a report detailing the movement of stock for the goods transfer module. Reports Module General report generates reports as it pertains sales, can be filtered using different parameters. Check out all the reports.
check out all the reports. Revenue report generates the side-by-side -side revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, expenses, net profit and others figures. Two or more revenue report can generate it for a period to help compare performance between different periods. Click on the Add More button to set the different comparison parameters and click View to generate all. Same applies to Customer Report and Referral. Supplier Account Supplier Setup Input Supplier Details and Submit Log Item Purchase Purchases are captured here. Select the supplier, input the item purchased and amount. All purchases can be viewed slash edited slash reversed using the view slash edit item purchase. Pay supplier. Pay to. Debits the supplier's account and credits the corresponding account selected. The reverse is the case for deduct from button. View Purchases. Report showing all purchases. Account Statement. A report showing supplier statement slash ledger. Specify the supplier to spool their individual statement. Same concept applies for the other creditors. Note that other creditors doesn't hit the purchases account. Asset. Here we set up everything relating to fixed assets. Asset category. Create asset categories, aka, asset accounts, input necessary details, submit. Add asset. Input asset name, asset account, purchase amount, date, depreciation value per month, leave at zero if number depreciation and other details, submit. Asset Register. A comprehensive asset report page. Journal Entry. When assets were added with a purchase amount under the Add Asset page, no mounting entry was made. To make the necessary accounting entry, credit the cash slash bank or any other account with the purchase value, then debit the corresponding asset account. Account Statement. Page for Fixed Asset Account Ledger. Financials. Stock Ledger. A ledger showing stock movement.
Stock Position A report showing stock position as at GL Setup Here we set up main accounts as it should reflect on the statement of financial position Ledger Setup here we set up sub accounts to be under the main account already set up above. VAT setup. Here we set up VAT. Input the VAT percent in account to be credited. Expense account setup. Here we set up expense accounts. Funds transfer. Here we transfer values between two accounts. Click transfer into button on the account to receive value. Check the main account checkbox and select the account value will be moved from input value and other details and submit. This is a credit slash debit entry. Journal Entry. Window to credit and or debit all accounts on the system. Log expense. This is where we log expenses. Input a brief description of the expense, amount spent in category. Submit. Expense Statement. A comprehensive expenses report can be filtered by different parameters. Posted expense can also be reversed by checking the line item action checkbox and clicking the reverse button. Account Statement. Window to open the ledger for all accounts on the system. Profit slash loss. Generates business profit and loss statement. Trial Balance. Generates Business Trial Balance. Balance Sheet. Generates Business Statement of Financial Position. Payroll menu module. Setups. Income. Input income name, income type. Income can be fixed or variable. Choose if income is taxable. Relief. Input relief name, relief type. Relief can be fixed or variable. Input relief percentage and choose income relief will be applicable too. Max value. Input the higher value to consider when computing reliefs. Whichever is higher shall be used. If none, input zero.
Deductions Input deduction name, deduction type Deduction can be fixed or variable Input deduction percentage and choose income deductions will be applicable too Payee. Select the ledger payee deductions will report to. As payee is progressive, input in progressive order. Under the description, input the payee step name, rate and percent to be deducted and the value. Click add more to add as many payee steps as required. Employer contribution, input contribution name, contribution type, input contribution percentage, select deduction category that contribution matches and choose income contribution will be applicable to. Employee account name. Here we set up all possible account name employees can have as it relates to payroll. Example, all bank names, pension fund administrator names, tax bodies, mortgage bank names, insurance company names etc. Staff category. Here we set up different grade levels or steps or cadre of staff. Input the grade level name and a brief description. Staff category pay details. Here we set up payroll components for each staff category. Fill in the required details and submit. Employees. Here we add slash edit all employees. Fill the necessary bio data of employee. On choosing a grade level, the pay details populates. Where necessary, input employees account details. Submit.
Upload employees. For batch upload, build a CSV format as shown in upload details. Employee Pay Menu Upload Pay Details For batch upload of employee pay, prepare CSV format as shown in Upload. Afterwards, click the Validate Upload to approve the uploaded batch. Edit Employee Pay Employees payroll can be called up and edited here. Example, change in grade, income or deduction. Employee debt slash loan. Here we issue loans to employees to be paid from their wages within an agreed duration. Choose the employee. The column debit is where we specify which deduction category the value will be charged on. The value is where we specify the figure to be deducted. Repayment spread tells system how many times this deduction should be spread. Example, if an employee takes a loan to be paid in three tranches, the repayment spread will be three payroll cycles. Account. Here we specify which account to be credited example, salary advance. Note, upon submission, the account salary advance, will be credited and employee account debited. When payroll is processed for such employee, salary advance will be debited and employee account credited. Employee Statement. An employee ledger. Process Salary Pay Employee Here we process payroll per employee Pay All Employee Here we process payroll for all registered employees Processed Salary Batch, a report for processed salary per batch. Processed payroll can be reversed by clicking the reverse button. Processed Salary Slash Employee, a report for processed salary per batch slash employee. Reports. Check out the employee pay slip, general pay slip. General Report. A payroll report detailing all payroll components. Report can be filtered to show different types of data based on parameters set. Accounts Report. This is where user generates payables report for each ledger attached to a payroll components upon setup. Report shows employee details, value to be paid, institution payable to, example, bank name, tax body name, pension admin name, account number. Example, if we set up all net pay income to be credited to say net salaries payable account, we select the net salaries payable and batch we want to prepare the report for, system will generate a comprehensive report of payables to each employee. Report can be spooled to Excel or saved as PDF. Check out the payment report too, it is similar to general report.